So this is one of the questions from the DM. Someone is asking, can you identify the stages that one goes through during an awakening process? So I'm going to give you like three points on what I know out of my own experience and what I have seen. And then from there you can add onto that. So we can say that an awakening process is when someone now all of a sudden you know that everything is not how it's supposed to be. Everything is not how it's supposed to be. So you are questioning everything. So all of a sudden, you decide there's more to this than meets the eye. Now, there's many ways that people come onto what you can call an awakening. And one of them, which is very rare, but it also happens, and in Kikuyu it's called Kumonyogo, or this is a point whereby people just go insane. So all of a sudden, a person who was functioning normally in the society seizes or stops and all of a sudden they become aware of things they didn't know before so they start of speaking things that make other people question them so people will go to them and say so what are you saying so where did you learn all these things but they cannot even explain where it's coming from but this is very rare but when this happens this is also very permanent so it's not like the others where you have to work on yourself. So this is very rare, but it's also very permanent. And most of the time, a lot of the people who you see being taken to mental asylums, because they are mental, uh, they, are, they have mental issues, or we say that they are mentally weak, some of them are just going through this sudden awakening process where they wake up one day and they seem to have tuned it to a frequency that no one else can understand. So that is a form of spiritual awakening. So number two, this is a transformation whereby say someone was in a religious following and as they are going through the religious following, as they are studying the religious system that they are following, it doesn't even have to be religion, whatever they are following in their spiritual journey, whether it's culture, they start questioning or they start building onto that. So whatever they are learning, they get more from other places, they are reading more or information they are taking two and two together subtracting what is not working so they remodel what you can call a self-awareness kind of new thing whereby now when they present that to the world it looks different the way they talk the way they're interpreting everything so they have a different interpretations of the language what they can hear so they are going behind the scenes to dissect so these are people when now they are talking they talk different not what they say but how they are saying it not what they see but how they are seeing the world so through what you can call um step by step transformation so this is also another way that people can stumble onto spirituality on be what you call uh, spiritual awakening or what you call kundalini awakening or what you call kumoni or or whichever word you give it it's all pertains to something that someone is going through um, step by step number three uh, this is very common so number three will be uh, self-awareness where people just become self-aware so all of a sudden you are aware that whatever you are following whatever you are doing is not working you are aware that you have been living a lie when you look at whatever you have been following you can see that it is not working your grandmother never saw anyone walk on water. Your great-grandmother never saw anyone walk on water. In your whole life, you have tried it. You have sunk in the swimming pool, in the sea. So you have never seen anyone walk on water. So slowly, gradually, you start questioning things for yourself. You start saying, no, no, no. Just like Neo in the Matrix, who is taken by Morpheus and is told, this is the world like it exists today. He's in denial. He's like, no, 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 no. This, so that being in denial, like, no, 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 I cannot believe this is what I've been experiencing day in, day out. So by default, that person has raised the Kundalini or that person has become awakened or to even use a better word, they are no longer in what you can call... Um, robotic kind of state they are no longer just going through the flow they become the glitch in the matrix they are now awake to everything the situations and the circumstances surrounding them okay they are no longer numb 
now they start feeling more okay now their emotions are more in touch they can now feel this is not right before they were numb going through their day to day five to nine five to nine pay bills do this so eventually when they question everything when they start feeling becoming more emotionally connected that becomes their sign that something is happening and so when you look at them you can say oh wait a minute they are finally awakening to the system they are finally quit their work they have realized that they can actually do more to change the world by themselves by presenting their gifts and talent than by being under what you can call a form of structure like employment and things like those ones so those are three ways that i can give you on how someone can say that they are going through a spiritual awakening